gotta see this. The Scarlet Macaw. I've seen this in Hobby Lobby. I've seen it online. It's a little pricey. But it looks gorgeous. It's a nice big solid packet. And it seems like it comes with a little stand as well. So if you're looking for something that spreads its wings and gives some imposing presence to your display cabinet, this appears to fit the bill. So let's see if we can open it up and see what's inside the box. The MU model in, um, in Canada. Wow, look at this. Nice little tray. with a real nice box that you open up. Let's get some, put this down here so you can take a look. Come on, let's open this up. Oh, it's taped, gotta be a little careful here. They've even taped it in so it doesn't move around. Wow. There it is. Now these heavy, sheets you've got to hold delicately across the bottom. If you try and hold them at an end they're going, to, they're going to crease. So always hold them with some care. We've got one, two, two sets of instructions, three sets of instructions. Oh, and this is the, what's on the spews. You can imagine with all these individual feathers it's going to be a little difficult. You've got to make sure you get the right feathers in the right place. Hey guys, a little interim update down here. It's going quite well, but there's no way I could do this without this roller bed that my daughter found and bought for me. And it's like, this is truly amazing. Because you can see you've got to roll these things and you've got to get them nicely preformed. And this is the perfect tool for the job. Really is. So I found that. now. To make this roll, I'm going to take this puppy off here, put this on, upside down, in the middle like that, and then push this down like that. Roll it just a little bit, make sure it's all completely level, and I've got a preformed roll like that. And then the others we're going to bend in slowly, and sometimes you've got to preform it squidge it in and it will slowly go in. There it is. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to do the second one. I slide in at the same time. And I'm just twisting the tabs down and then flattening the tabs. That way you don't want to have vertical tabs that are twisted. You just want to turn them down a little bit and then push them all the way down so they're flat. There it is. So we're beginning to make the body like that. It's coming really nicely. And this little puppy down here. Well, here it is. The Scarlet McCaw by Peace Cool. All done. Beautiful, long, large stand down there. You've got to have it because tail feathers don't want to be dragging on the floor. And you can obviously tilt it up and down, whichever way you want. So that's why it's such a long stand. So you've got to make sure you have somewhere to display this because it's quite tall. You can change the wings to certain different directions but frankly when you've done something it's sometimes better just to let it be it is what it is you can easily easily mess something up but beautiful coloring gorgeous coloring uh, yeah there were a few difficulties uh, the biggest problem I found was the curvature on the back. If you don't get that perfectly curved, it's almost impossible to get the, the the underside of the wing, which forms the basis for the top of the wings, to to fit in properly. Now, each of these little, the second problem was the second layer of these feathers down here or rather the first layer of these feathers were, was all individual feathers. Now the other feathers were pre-printed strips that went on top. But for the first layer, the main layer, the big layer of, of these feathers, they were all individuals. 
and they were all given the same number except that the number for the left were all in green and the numbers for the right were all in red so it's the same number but just green or red so you had to go as i said at the beginning of this video slowly one feather at a time and what i found is the piece cool engineering was not quite perfect some of the a lot of the slots were actually covered over with paint so i had to cut them open down here and you can see in this one in this right hand feather let me stop this in this right hand feather there's a bit of a, a bit of a, a wrinkle here and that's because when i did all the um feathers down here that the um that they were that was actually longer than 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 hitting the the tabs on on the second layer so the second layer kind of scrunched it up and it made it real awkward to get it done right so on 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 the on the other side on the right hand side what i did is actually created did the feathers in three strips and then i connected the three separate strips to to the to the next layer of the wing and I kind of let them overlap and I didn't make them all exactly perfect in terms of connecting them all together exactly the way they should. So each one's got two tabs, so I only connected one tab and I kind of let, let it kind of find its own. Don't tell anyone, but I put his head on the wrong way around initially. It's like, oh dear, it kind of looked logical the way it was, but uh, yeah, I had to get his head off and turn it around the right way, so. Uh. So, yeah, you make some mistakes, but so that's fine. You do make a few mistakes in these metal models, as long as you can undo them and then redo it properly and get a result that you like. It doesn't matter what anybody else likes. As long as you like it, you're good to go. So, Mr. McCall, are you ready to go inside the cabinet, the display cabinet? Yes, Dad, I'm ready. All right, let's put you in the display cabinet.